What happens when two narcissists engage in a relationship? Imagine a dance floor where each dancer is vying for the spotlight, seeking admiration and applause. This is the dance of narcissists in a relationship, a complex and often volatile ballet of egos. Narcissism is a personality trait characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep-seated need for admiration, and a lack of empathy for others. When two individuals with this trait enter into a relationship, the dynamic can be as captivating as it is chaotic. One potential outcome of this pairing is an intense competition and conflict. Narcissists are often competitive by nature, always seeking to be the center of attention, the star of the show. In a relationship, this can lead to a constant power struggle as each partner tries to outshine the other. Who tells the funniest jokes? Who garners the most adoration from friends? Who is the life of the party? These questions become battlegrounds, arenas for proving their worth and dominance. Consequently, this competition can result in frequent arguments and resentment, as each partner feels their needs for validation and admiration are not being met. It's a constant tug of war, a game of one-upmanship that can leave both parties feeling drained and unfulfilled. The desire for dominance also impacts the emotional intimacy in the relationship. Narcissists often struggle to truly connect with others on a deeper level, their focus primarily on themselves. This lack of emotional intimacy can leave the relationship feeling shallow and unsatisfying, a mere stage for their performances rather than a platform for genuine connection and growth. The dance of narcissists in a relationship is a fascinating spectacle to behold, but it's also a dance fraught with conflict, competition, and a lack of emotional intimacy. It's a dance where each dancer seeks the spotlight and the dance floor becomes a battlefield. The dance of two narcissists can often turn into a battle for supremacy. But remember, every dance has its rhythm, its ebbs and flows. As we delve deeper into this dance, we'll explore how these narcissistic relationships can also be characterized by mirroring, volatile cycles, and even the potential for growth. Stay tuned as we continue to unravel the complexities of the narcissist dance. Sometimes, the attraction is magnetic, at least in the beginning. The initial phase of a relationship between two narcissists can indeed be quite captivating. Like two mirrors reflecting each other's light, they engage in a dance of mutual admiration and validation. This mirroring process where they mimic each other's behaviors, values, and even quirks helps to foster a sense of connection and understanding. It's as if they've found someone who finally gets them, who appreciates their grandeur as much as they do. Yet as enchanting as the stage might be, it's built on shaky grounds. This initial idealization, this mirroring illusion, is just that, an illusion. As time goes by and the honeymoon phase fades, their true selves start to emerge. The charming facade begins to crumble, revealing the inflated egos and deep-seated insecurities beneath. And that's when the real challenges begin. But as the masks fall off, the illusion begins to crack. What starts as a love story often turns into a roller coaster. Welcome to the cycle of volatility, a whirlwind of emotions that often characterizes relationships between two narcissists. The cycle usually begins with idealization, where each partner is seen through rose-tinted glasses. They're put on a pedestal, admired and adored. This phase is intoxicating, filled with grand gestures and sweeping statements of love. But like all illusions, it cannot last forever. Soon, the cracks start to show and the image of perfection shatters. This is the devaluation phase. The very traits that were once adored become sources of criticism and contempt. Arguments become more frequent, resentment builds, and emotional intimacy starts to erode. Then comes the discard phase. This could mean a temporary breakup, silent treatment, or simply an emotional withdrawal. It's a painful, confusing time for both partners. Stuck in a loop the relationship becomes a battleground of emotions. This cycle can be emotionally draining and create a sense of instability and insecurity. But amidst the chaos, could there be a silver lining? Well, it might seem counterintuitive, but a relationship between two narcissists can indeed offer potential for growth. It's a turbulent journey, no doubt, but one that can also lead to self-awareness and transformation. Think about it, this relationship exposes each partner to a mirror image of their own narcissistic tendencies. It's like a stark, unfiltered reflection of oneself, which can be a powerful catalyst for change. If both partners are open to acknowledging their narcissistic traits, it can be the first step toward self-improvement. 
Imagine a relationship where both parties are committed to growth, to becoming better versions of themselves. The dynamics could evolve, giving way to healthier interactions, deeper understanding, and a more fulfilling relationship. It's a challenging journey, certainly, but not an impossible one. In the face of adversity, there is always the potential for transformation.